Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Abu Dhabi, uh, where Zerda Ramirez will get his crack at the light heavyweight world title shot, the WBA title against Dimitri Bivol, November 5th, live on the zone. Uh, yeah, excited to be fighting for the world title, firstly, at light heavyweight. Of course, I'm super excited. And I'm, super, I'm super happy to be here in Abu Dhabi, my first time. And to get a title shot is amazing. Of course, there was a, a lot of reports going around that Joshua Boatsi potentially was going to box Dimitri Bivol, but of course the WBA denied that and said, you're the mandatory, this fight has to get over the line. What were your thoughts during that time when Matram were trying to make the Boatsi fight? Well, I knew that I was a mandatory and I knew that that fight would happen. Um, thank you, uh, Jesus Gilberto Mendoza, for making it uh, happen. And, but I'm, I'm so glad that the, the Bivol and Boatsi didn't happen because I'm, I, but I fought two times for the mandatory and I deserve this opportunity for me. Your thoughts as well in, in boxing in Abu Dhabi? Say that again? Your thoughts about boxing in, in Abu Dhabi? Was, well, it's uh, my first time here and, and it, I'm, I'm glad to have a, a, a good uh, fan here. And different fan, different, uh, different country. And I mean, it's, it's great to, 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 to be here. Of course, Dimitri Bivol has been reigning as a light heavyweight king for a long, long time. You've called his name as well for a long time. What gives you that confidence that you have the beating of Dimitri Bivol? Well, my confidence is my preparation and my team and everything that I know that I will conquer the, 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 the fight. The, the another title fight and I know that he's uh, uh, confident too because he beat one of the best in, in the world, uh, Canelo and I think uh, it will be an exciting fight I just, I just want to uh, uh, say thank you everyone, thank you uh, Golden Boy to, to happen this fight and um, I mean it's, it's, it's amazing, it's, uh, I, I can't wait to, to be here in, in November 5th and, and get the fight you're looking very big at the moment. Um, yeah, thoughts on uh, your size and frame at the moment? We are a couple of, of months away from the fight. Yes, uh, um, I'm big. I'm bigger than, than Dimitri Ball. And I think uh, it, it will be... Uh, uh, um, I will use my, my reach to all the time. And it will be uh, exciting and, and it will be uh, so the best Surto Ramirez. OK, we look forward to it. You say it's going to be exciting. How do you see the fight playing out in your mind? Uh, raise my hand, raise my hand, and that's that's all matter for me because I want to become two-time world champion, and this is the moment for me. What did you take away from Dimitri Bivol's last fight against Canelo? What were your thoughts on his performance? Well, he did well. He did a, a really good job in in the ring. He moved good, and he beat Canelo obviously. And I mean. And he surprised me. He surprised me. I knew that it would be a, a, a hard fight for for Canelo, but he he won every round, and it was great. Okay. In terms of Canelo Alvarez, he said that if you win this fight, um, he won't box you because uh, you're a fellow Mexican. Uh, your thoughts on on Canelo's comments? Well, no, not really. Is uh, his team is uh, his team is his his thought, and I don't know what he's thinking, but and. People want to see the fight too, and, and maybe it will happen, maybe not. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I just want to get the, the, the title fight, and I want to fight Bibo, and that's all matter right now. Okay. Have you got a final message to your fans back in Mexico, in America, across the world, uh, ahead of this fight, uh, live on the zone November 5th in Abu Dhabi? Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the support, the people. Muchas gracias a toda la gente por el apoyo. Gracias a, a, a mi gente, a los latinos, a los mexicanos. Y no se pierdan la pelea. Don't miss the fight November 5th, Abu Dhabi. And the new? And the new, yes, of course. 45 and all. Zerdo, so, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And we'll see you back here in Abu Dhabi uh, on Fight Week in November, all right? Thank you, champ. Yes, thank you.
Yeah, I put my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.